What's up everyone, this is Jared Tech, and we're starting 2016 off with a desk tour. We're going to check out everything from my computers to what I have inside the drawers. So, let's get started. Everything that's talked about and featured in this video either has a full in-depth review on my channel, or there's also going to be an Amazon link down below if you're interested in picking this up for yourself. Now this is just my early setup for 2016. I do have some pretty big plans and I do plan on switching up the monitors and getting rid of the iMac, but I just want to give you guys a work in progress. So here it is before I do any major changes. My setup is made from primarily two different desks put together as one, and they are called the Galant Desk from Ikea. On the right desk, I don't have much going on here, and I use this mostly for a workstation. I have a bunch of money magazines because I'm really interested in businesses and personal finance, and of course the Cubs hat, but besides that, I don't really have much else on this desk. Now let's talk about the main part of this video, and let's talk about the computers and what other accessories I have on my desk. Of course, the two main stars of the show are both of the iMacs. These are 21 and a half inch models. The one on the right is a 4K model, while the one on the left is just the 2013 baseline model. Just to the right of the 4K iMac, we have a Just Mobile headphone stand. I really like this headphone stand because it looks pretty sleek, but it's also pretty useful because you can tuck around the cord for the headphones to the base of the stand. And I have my Solar Public. I am thinking about upgrading these to a different headphone, so stay tuned for which ones I get. Behind that, I have some pencils and pens, and I have my Android guy guarding the pencils. Sitting underneath both the iMacs, I have a Scarlett 2i2, and this is used for the voice recordings that you're hearing right now. On top of that, I have an SD card reader and that makes it a lot easier transferring data to my computers. Then I just have a few more Android guys laying around. Underneath the iMac, I have this USB hub right here and it has the same finish as the iMac. So that's pretty cool even though I do have a carbon fiber slick wrap on it. I also have this phone stand right here and it's connected to the cord so it does sync and charge my iPhone. Sometimes it can be annoying trying to charge your phone because it takes a little bit to actually plug it in. My weapons of choice for the mouse and keyboard are the Logitech MX mouse and then the Logitech K750 keyboard. After upgrading, I don't think I'm ever going to go back to another Apple keyboard and mouse. Best part about this keyboard is no more annoying batteries since it's solar. Just left of the iMac, I have my mic and this is where you're currently listening to right now. This is a Rode NT1A and it's on this adjustable arm that I absolutely love because when I'm not using the mic for voice recordings, I can tuck it neatly behind my iMac. I also have this LED lights right here and you can adjust it to the different colors so if you want to read or anything like that it could change the color of the lights. Behind my iMac I have this little stand right here and it's pretty hidden because you can't see it from the front of the iMac and this stores the hard drive to back up the iMac. From this angle you could also see the speakers a lot better. I use the Kenovo and there's also a subwoofer on the ground underneath my desk. Located under both desks I have an LED strip and you can change the color of them using this remote. You could also change the brightness and I have to say at night these LED strips look absolutely amazing, especially with the iMacs located on top. The LED strips are pretty flimsy attaching them to a surface, but I only picked them up from Amazon for about 20 bucks, so it's definitely worth the price. Both the iMacs are sitting on top of this Alex drawers. There's two convenient drawers on either side. This is where I store my remotes, a thumb drive, a pen to test if money is real, and I also have a case right here where I store all my SD cards. On the flip side, I don't have much in this drawer, and sorry for my big old head getting in the way. I have some Apple stickers, a screen protector that broke when it was on my phone, and that's it. Now we're going to take a look at the other drawers located underneath my desk. In the first drawer, I don't have much. I just have some thumb drives, and then I have some SIM cards when I used to do unlocks for iPhones, some battery cases, sunglasses, charger, batteries, and then a tracker for a future video that you will see. Second drawer, same thing, not really much in here. Let's move on to the third, it's just some of my tax stuff, so not really too exciting, so we're just going to skip that. The drawer underneath that, I just store some cleaning supplies between the screens, cords, tape, and nothing really too exciting down there. And the fifth and final drawer is just some miscellaneous paperwork that I just toss in there, otherwise known as my mess drawer. The cable management of the desk is pretty good, you can tell right here, most cables are hidden besides the main ones. And this is mainly due in part of the racks that I installed under the desk for cable management. You can take a power brick and plug everything in there so it stays organized and neat. I spend a lot of time at my desk, so in return that means a lot of time sitting. So I think it's very important to invest in a good quality chair that adds support to your back and looks pretty stylish too. And that's why I went with the Herman Miller chair and I'm so glad that I upgraded from my leather office chair that I had prior to this one. 
Well, that wraps up the tour of my desk. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Like I said before, all the products and everything that was mentioned in this video either has a separate review on my channel that you can go ahead and check out, or I'll leave a link to purchase it down below. I'm also going to make some really big upgrades in the near future, so make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. I'm going to replace the iMac. I also want to put up some artwork, so I want to hear from you guys. What do you recommend that I should put up on my wall so you can see them in future videos? I'm also looking forward to hearing what you guys liked about the room setup and what you didn't, so I know what to change in the near future. I'll see you guys in the next one, and this is JR Tech signing off. Peace.